Now joining me on the line is the number one ranked WBC cruiserweight in the world. And this coming Saturday night makes his first attempt at a world title. Noel McCallion taking on Ilanga Makabu live on Fight TV pay-per-view from Miami. We're just about a week away. Noel, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. I'm doing good. Training uh, last week, recovering, and I'm ready to go. I know this has been a long time coming. You've been sitting as as the number one contender for a long time. Uh, what's been going through your mind as you waited for this title shot that you know you've been the number one contender for for uh, well over a year now? Yeah, it's been a long time, and actually the second attempt after the British fight. So I was like building up of four years now, rebuilding my career kind of and two years COVID and it was it was a long road to get to this fight and I'm, I'm happy and glad and excited that it's finally happening. Like you said, you've been in these type of fights before. You fought uh, former world champion Christoph Ladarczyk, Marius Breedis. How have the, even those fights, they, they didn't go your way. How has that prepared you for, for, for this Saturday night and Alanga Makabu? <laughs> I, I I think you're in a bad Those cell area. <laughs> you're, so, in a, you're in a bad cell area. You're breaking up. Hello? Okay, uh, we're, we're back. Okay, yeah, you're in a bad cell area. We didn't hear your answer. I asked you how those two oh. big fights with Breedis and, and Vladarczyk, how has that prepared you for, for, for the fight with Maccabi on Saturday night? Well, I'm very well prepared. I I'm, I feel confident. I feel undefeated because uh, I, those fights were only on paper, not mine, but inside the ring they were mine. So I feel well prepared. I feel confident. I feel I feel great, excited. This uh, opportunity, uh, it, it comes. Um, talk about Makabu. Obviously, he was a longtime champion. You know, did not fight very well against Badu Jack. What, what, what do you think of him as a fighter? Well, he is. I respect him as a fighter. He is, he is, he's good. His he has a good record, a strong puncher, uh, southpaw. He beat great, uh, good cruiserweights. Uh, I respect his achievements, but I think I'm just a better boxer. And against Badu Jack, yeah, that was surprisingly, I, I thought he picked the fight instead of me because he was supposed to fight me in January, but he picked uh, Badu Jack because he thought it would be an easy fight and good money and then surprisingly lost. And yeah, now uh, he, had a, he had a rematch clause against him and that's why he, has, he can't fight now against me because I'm the mandatory. So we will see on Saturday. Do you feel you know like you know maybe uh, you're you're very well experienced now? You you uh, ha had some of these big fights internationally. You think you're catching Makabu at the right time? He's come out. Forget about come off a loss. He he got his butt kicked in that fight. Well, I mean, I, I, I I'll say that. I know you're not going to say that. I will say that. You feel yeah. he's a guy. He's he's a little bit older. Maybe he's lost a step or two. Uh, well. I don't know. I, I don't want to underestimate him. That's why I'm pre I prepared myself very well to be prepared for any uh, circumstance. So I think he will bring his A game because he wants to be champion again. And uh, I want to be champion for the first time. So I'm prepared for his A game. So I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm scared to underestimate him. How cool is it for you? I know you've been living in Miami now for several years. You're going to have the fight, you know, literally, uh, you know, miles from where, from where you live. True. That's that. That's awesome. I, I'm very happy. I have a lot of friends in Miami and a lot of supporters. Miami has been great for me the last four years, and many people helped me, believed in me, and uh, it's kind of like a homecoming. So I feel very, very confident and uh, very happy that it's happening, in Miami. Yeah. I, so I assume you're gonna have a lot, good, lot of people cheering for you. Yes, it would be nice. <laughs> gonna be gonna be a great fight and won't keep uh, too much of your time i know we're you're uh the last uh week of uh the training and everything and uh True. what um what do, what do you want to say to the fans out there before we see you uh this saturday night live uh casino miami live fight tv pay-per-view i would imagine you know we you will probably have a lot of like you mentioned you have a lot of fans and friends coming to the fight but obviously with family from armenia you spend a lot of time in mm -hmm. germany I would imagine you'll have you'll have people watching all over the world uh, rooting you in to try to win this world title. Yes, uh, I, 
I think I deserved it, and I will uh, do the best to uh, that my hand gets raised at the end. I'm very happy. Everybody who who is coming or tuning in, I'm like very grateful for every support. And yeah, buy the pay per view. Come uh, see me if you can't come. Uh, tune in on Fight TV on DonKing.com and uh, on any other streaming service. And if you're in Miami or in Florida, come to the fight. It's going to be a great show. Don King, 92 year old celebration and WBC Cruiserweight world title fight. So let's get it. So maybe, maybe you'll give Don a big birthday gift uh, with, with a great effort on Saturday. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Noel, we thank you for a few minutes of your time. Uh, we will oh, see you, you this we will see you this week. I'll be down there Tuesday, and uh, awesome. I'll be I'll be calling the fight. And uh, I look forward to getting together with you, speaking to you in person. And uh, we'll see you Saturday night. I see you Saturday night. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Me. Thank you. And.